assalamu alaikum dear students my name is dr imran today we are discussing a new topic our today topic is about the face anatomy face muscles and their functions so here we are discussing first this line first of all if you look at the first muscle that is called temporalis this muscle is located on this area temporal area and temporal bone area this muscle is called temporalis and temporalis muscle is a primary chewing muscle that helps in grinding and churning action and the second one is soreus muscles the soreus muscles help in expression of anger if someone is going to get into getting anger he feels angry and there are wrinkles shown on forehead and the soreus muscle is especially expression uh, help in expression of anger now on the next muscle this muscle is near the uh, eyelid and this muscle is called orbicularis ocli orbicularis ocli muscle help in closure of eyelid when someone closes eyelid this helps in uh, uh, eyelid movement next one you are looking that here near nose area this muscle is called levator labii levator labii muscles uh, specially expresses uh, uh, facial expressions also help in dilation of mouths if someone dilate mouth or uh, expresses anger horror smile all these expressions related to the levator labii now we are going on to next uh, muscle next muscle is near the lip and this muscle is called orbicularis oris orbicularis oris muscles helps in the movement of mouth lips and also help in kissing your mouth movement round anywhere and your lip movements and uh, this muscle also help in kissing you can if you look at this orbicularis oris muscles here uh, upper lip and your uh, lower low lip both are connected and this help in kissing if you look at the next muscle that is called masseter muscles masseter muscles is located in the cheeks and this help in chewing of solid food if one if someone uh, chew a solid food this definitely helps in chewing of solid food now we are uh, coming here in chin area and uh, in this area depressor angli oris depressor angli oris muscle uh, helps in pulling angle of mouth downward if someone pulls angle downward uh, this uh, would cause the function of uh, depressor angli oris now look at this one this is called mentalis muscle mentalis muscle uh, mentalis muscle help in protraction movement of lips if someone uh, there are two type of uh, uh, movements here in lips first one is called retraction and then protraction so the protraction movement is definitely helped by the mentalis now at the, this neck area there is a large muscles that is called platysma platysma expresses uh, some expressions like sadness surprise horror is if someone is expressing his sadness someone is surprising or uh, feeling horror all these expressions are related to the platysma this is the one side now we are discussing about the another side uh, on uh, this side of face the first muscle is called occipitalis muscle this is in occipital region of the head location and this muscle especially helps in elevation of eyebrows and wrinkles if someone uh, this uh, is related to this eye uh, near eyebrows if someone uh, elevate his or her eyebrow definitely this muscle will help out and another wrinkles showing on forehead also responsible this muscle now on the second muscle of this side we will discuss here levator labii superior teres this is located in the superior region of mouth uh, just uh, below the eye 
and these muscles have three most important functions. The first one is that expresses expressions. I already I talked that it's, it's some muscles located here, and this muscle function is also the same that it expresses horror, surprise, sadness. This is called the expression of muscles. The second one is the dilation of mouth. If you open the mouth, this is what we call dilation of mouth, and this is the function of levator labi. And then third movement of this function, levator labi, is upper limb movement. This uh, this limb movement is uh, responsible. Uh, upper labi is responsible for the upper limb uh, limb movement. After this function, this muscles. Now we go on zygomatic minor and zygomatic major. First of all, this we will discuss here zygomatic minor. This region is called zygomatic, uh, zygomatic region and this is the minor area so here we call zygomatic minor and zygomatic minor have also three types of functions. First of all, uh, muscle of facial expression, zygomatic is, minor is also called a muscle of facial expressions, uh, draw upper lip, backward, outward. So, a zygomatic minor also help in the movement of uh, lip, movement upward, downward, outward, all these movements of lips is responsible zygomatic minor. Now we are on the, after zygomatic minor we discuss here this type, uh, here this area. This area is called zygomatic major area. Zygomatic major area have also three important functions. First of all, expression, facial expression related to smile, sadness, horror, all these are responsible uh, due to uh, zygomatic major. Draw angle of mouth superiorly and posteriorly. If someone is drawing his uh, mouth angle superiorly or anteriorly, all his movement is all responsible zygomatic major muscle. Now, at this region, we are discussing this region. This region is called buccinator muscle. Buccinator muscle uh, also helps in uh, facial expression. I have already discussed like platysma. So here same function is buccinator muscle, and also it buccinator also help in mastication, mastication of food, chewing of food. This is the major muscle that help in mastication. <coughs> They are now on the upper uh, side of this upper lip. There is levator angloid oris. This muscle is called levator angloid oris. Elevate angle of mouth medially. If one if someone moves his mouth angle medially, so this medial movement is uh, only because of levator angloid oris. Now in chin area, there is a small muscle here that is called depressor labi inferioris. This muscle is located in the inferior side of the mouth. That's why we call this muscle depressor labi inferioris. This muscles help also different kind of functions like uh, positioning of lip. If someone uh, moves the lips forward, backward, outward, so this movement shape if someone makes uh, lip shapes this is also responsible due to the depressor labi inferioris and uh, third one the movement of lips all this uh, is only related to the because of depressor labi inferioris so the students there we today we have discussed uh, both side muscles uh, of face this is called face anatomy of muscles we have discussed all these uh, one by one discuss all these muscles also their functions so in the next class we will do more better on the uh, functions of these muscles uh, for uh, till then now it's for today topic thank you very much